spot that Joe's in here, and I think that it's just a matter of time until he grinds out Lewis. Yeah. Um, what do you think about GP promo progenitus? Dreadful, oh, right? Oh, man. I, I paid like $15 for a beat promo foil uh, when I was playing Elves about a year and a half ago, and I would have loved to have a $2 one. But I'm also in a 1% of, of people crazy enough to ever register Legacy Elves. I'm pretty sure it's just me and Tom in this 100 person You and have someone in the it. top four of this tournament. Yeah, but I think that's the only two people out of this 102 that would ever register. I know deck. some other people that play Elves. I suppose uh, Ralph Navarra plays yeah. Elves. One he, of the Jessops, uh, an Elves uh, master. Andrew Jessop. Uh, there's a few others. Yeah. Chris Anderson has been known to play Elves before. Yeah. Chris just loves his ramp strategy. Elf He'll just jam anything that makes mana. Oh, John Morowski. You know oh, John Morowski? Yeah, he no plays such. elves. Yeah. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. Nick, uh, Nick Malatesta, I believe yeah. is his name. He's a friend of John's. But so to circle back to the actual also question, good. I'm very low on GP Promo Progenitus. I'm dreadfully low. I don't know if I could be lower. I mean, it could be, it could be Promo Mountain. Dude, I would love Promo Mountain. But it could just be like Kaladesh Art. Like, it could definitely be worse. Whatever. It'd still be better than Progenitus. And there's like zero percent chance I'm ever going to use Protection from it. everything. Wait, so you've never had an EDH game where you get to take the Dream Halls challenge? Have you ever heard of this? No. So it's when you uh, make Progenitus your commander, and then you just resolve a Dream Halls. This Such is thing. nothing like Ice Bucket Challenge, right? No. So Progenitus, you just always cast out Dream Halls. It just becomes zero mana cast in the command zone by pitching a card of any color. You just make your opponent take the Dream Halls challenge every turn and kill your Progenitus constantly. Okay. And <laughs> it's, it's a reasonable way to live your life, I suppose. Difficult to do given Progenitus is protection from everything. And the way that the commander rules work, you hit them twice and then they die. I you played put anything Sneak and Show back in the day, and I had a turn two Progenitus. I've, and I lost the race. Yeah. I've My opponent put like Knight of the Reliquary with Sword of Fire and Ice on and just killed me. So one of the last weeks that I played Elves, I was against Sneak and Show in a Mox winning in. And I put in Progenitus off their turn one show and tell and lost the race because they cast Pyroclasm, killed all of my elves that were protecting me from the Annihilator trigger, and then annihilated the rest of my things. Ooh, Magic the Gathering. Yeah. So Back up on the screen. We're not sure uh, how much of that you guys could see, but uh, well, we're, we're happy to see it again. <laughs> we did the best we could when we went down for a second, and we don't know if you guys were there for that, but yeah. we just started talking about Progenitus. It was great. Yeah. We're back now, though. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and it looks a plus. So it looks like the germ token finally traded off, and the desert Tigers player committed a thalia. Um, it looks like something likely the, happened to the G tail. The germ the token card. finally traded with the gangler. The angler, yeah, yeah. The uh, fish daddy. The gangler, yeah, agreed. The gangler. The gangler. The dangling gangler. God, I hate that. <laughs> Um, and it's unclear whether Luis's final card is that uh, GT that we saw tutored for, or if that's been dealt with. Joe is up a comical amount of cards yes. in, in this Sil game. Sylvan Library plus Leovold will do that. Along with Baleful Strix X2. Yeah? Yeah. Cantripping is no joke. Is Joe just going to win by like attacking with Baleful Strix a bunch of times? I believe so. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. The old two-mana Brainstorm... Less good than the one mana brainstorm. Still great when you have cards you don't like in your hand. We'll also dig him one card deeper off of these Sylvan Library triggers. That GTA <sighs> could get it could get busy if that's the last card. Yeah. Still, it could get into it a little bit. Um, could just get abrupt decayed though. Uh, and yeah. since Luis is unbelievably crimped on mana for how late in the game it Maybe is. Maybe the Needle is preemptively naming GTA, or it's naming Stoneforge. Could be. And he can't cast it anyway because he's locked under his own Thalia. Yeah. Uh, so this Leovold attack, uh, I think you're just you can, super happy with Luis trading two things you for your Leovold. You can trade your board for it, or you yeah. can take three. Yeah, and I think you're ecstatic with that trade. I think he has to take three this time. It's it's close. Yeah. In that, you can't really beat much of anything. But the, So the death rate's got you at a virtual nine. You're going to go to six, and then the death rate's going to put you to four, and you're going to just get attacked with all three things and double jump next turn anyway. Like, what are you hoping to draw? Well, death rate's going to put him to... Oh, he's going to go to eight. And then six. And then six. And, and then, then the Strix he can go to two. Cruise over to put him to at least four, and the death rate mm -hmm. puts him to two. So what are you hoping to draw? Like what's what's swords your realistic out? Swords I guess. So the sword cycles. He he cantrips. Yeah. That's it. Joe Joe wins the match two zero. Lewis extends the hand. Yeah. So uh, we'll see if we can cut to the only other match still going on. But we now know three of the four players in our top four. So that's going to be yep. Joe so Brennan, 
Jesse, Jesse Matusek, Matusek, Matusek and, and Tom Ellis. And Tom Ellis. Uh, and then the winner of Jose Lopez versus Joe Stempo. And that, again, is a shardless versus four-color control mm-hmm. mirror. So, uh, and so likely the winner that's of not yet that over. match will play Joe Brennan yeah. in a grindy blue mirror. Yeah. And but the, the other two decks Elf are deck and the Eldrazi deck will play against each other. Okay, so we actually are able to cut 